Hey, that's right. Recording in progress. Hi, everybody. How are you? Good to see you. It's a mon. It's a Monday. We love our little Monday show, and we uh, get started here. And uh, if you want to join us, uh, you simply uh, go to my uh, Facebook page, and there's a link there, and it'll teach you how to how to get there. Okay. All right. All righty. Let me see here. Uh, time to admit some of these people. Look at the look at the group already forming. Jeffrey Stein, Marjorie Miller, Charlene Solis. Uh, or is that hey. is it pronounced? Do I pronounce it correctly? Or is it Sala? Solis. Oh, that's right. Uh, there's uh, there's uh, Edward Berger. Hi, Edward. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> He's back. Oh, uh, the voice has launched a thousand ships. That's Jeffrey, right. <laughs> Jeffrey Stein, who we had lunch with yesterday. Turn your camera on, Jeffrey. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Somewhere there. Yeah. Uh, and of course, Len, La Len LaFrisco. And uh, here comes uh, our good friend up in Canada. Hold on a second. Uh, there it goes. Uh, Candace, he changed it. <laughs> Okay, hello, Candace. He changed it. <laughs> Wait a minute, is he gonna yeah. through? He's not there yet. He's not on. Unless you let who the oh, I was gonna say the race is on. Who goes first? <laughs> my friend in Canada or Jeff Stein? Hey everybody. Sorry. My face is not on. Hello, Candace. How are you? Uh, I'm sorry about that. I gotta get that adjusted. Hey, Pammy, could you show me something? Well, here, here, I'll adjust it for you. What do you want it? To, what do you want it to say? Oh no, I've got it right. Now. Oh, oh okay. Jeffrey is trying to get on. Jeff, are you okay? Excuse my name, but I'm not on. We can't see you. Your camera's not on. Your camera's not on. We hear. We heard your voice, Jeff, but your camera's not on. I think every time we do this show, we should send somebody out to Jeff's house. <laughs> To do it, we had lunch yesterday with Jeff and his wife Pamela. Very nice day. We had a very nice lunch. And as I left, I said, "And we'll see you on Monday if, in fact, you can turn everything on." <laughs> <laughs> and uh, apparently, I spoke too soon. Uh, here comes Paul Levin. Hold on a second. There we go. Pamela, how are you? Hey. There's you IT look, support for Jeff. You look a little. <laughs> You We're look a, you look a little fatter after yesterday. So I just want to say hello. There. There we go. Yeah. Yeah. Good to see you guys. I'm out of here. Bye. Okay. <laughs> yeah, we had lunch with them and uh, it's always very nice to see Jeff in person, you know, and Pamela who's a delight. And, uh, you know, if any of the rest of you want to come to New York, we'll have lunch with you too. We had lunch with Len LaFrisco, didn't we, Len? Yes, sir, we did. That was great. Right. And uh, uh, of course, I'll pro probably never, uh, I'll never see uh, 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 our, our, our good friend here, Edward Berger, because he I'm a messy eater. So. <laughs> He's a messy eater. Oh, boy. Oh, God. Mm. Uh, well, anyway, how you doing? I saw Oppenheimer. Did you see Oppenheimer? Oh. Okay. How, did, did you uh, did you see it in IMAX? Uh, I don't know. It was on a big screen. I don't know if it's IMAX. <laughs> I don't know. But it was really good. It was really good. You like? It was really good. I, I just makes me feel like I there's so much that I should have known that I didn't know about the history of that. About, about the history of that? Oh, I know the history of it. In fact. There was another movie I showed Marjorie called Fat Boy and uh, Little Man. With Paul and, Newman. Uh, with Paul Newman playing General Groves. And uh, I can't remember who played Oppenheimer, but it's basically, it's the same story. You know, it was done once before and uh, done very well. It's a very good movie. I think Marjorie will agree. It's a very good film. I had seen it years ago, but this one was more based on on building the bomb. I think Oppenheimer is more based on Oppenheimer. Well, well, it's both. It's both. Yeah. Yeah, it's both. It's it's uh, uh, Oppenheimer and then the problems that followed. Oppenheimer. Uh, afterwards. Yeah. 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 A lot sure. more so than the movie we saw. 
Uh, but still, all the things about the people working on the bomb, complaining mm -hmm. about them dropping it and so on and so forth. It, it, you know, it was a very similar film in many ways. It's just this one. This one was, has 11 miles worth of film when you watch it in IMAX. Mm -hmm. so, uh, yeah. And they said how many pounds it was. Do you it's 600. Um, yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> We're now measuring films by how much they weigh. You know. Like, how much does Barbie weigh? Uh, you didn't go see Barbie, too, did you? You didn't do the... Uh, no. Barbie. My wife did. Huh? My wife went and saw it with her best friend. What, Barbie? Yep. Yeah, but it's not... The number one movie. Yeah. I hear it's very good. Actually, you should be very happy... Uh, especially because it is the first, uh, it is the, excuse me, the most money-making film by a female director ever. The last one being Wonder Woman. Um, and I hear she did a really good job with this picture. How did you, you like a lot of pink? Oh, only if you like a lot of pink and white. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're just reading the reviews. Uh, uh, <laughs> I agree. Oh, no. Up in uh, up, Mike. Up, uh, how'd yeah. you like, like it? Hold on a second. How'd your wife like it? She liked it. She said it had a lot more depth to it than uh, one might one might think. Yeah, that's uh, it has uh, it has a lot of depth to it. Actually, it's um, it's a commentary because this doll was used. It was given to girls to play with, and when she was supposed to be the ideal girl, you know. This is what you had to grow up to be. I mean, and in spite of all the other things, they, they made her a stewardess. They made her uh, uh, everything else. You know, she had her whole, she had a car. She had, she had a whole wardrobe. Yeah. yeah. But no matter what they did, it still didn't make up for the fact that this just made girls look at this doll. And because they didn't look like the doll, you know, they weren't worthy. You know, so, I mean, it. Yeah. it and and that's what this movie deals with. And I think that's very good. And I'm surprised. I mean, Mattel, I understand they have the, the president of the Mattel company being the evil guy in the movie. And how Mattel said, okay, we'll write off on this. Go ahead, make me evil, you know? Make me money. That's no, what no it says a lot for Mattel, you know? Yeah, but also he's making a lot of money. Uh, oh, of course. Uh, but anyway, these two films made a lot of money over the weekend, and they're going, oh, movies are back. Well, until next week when they don't make money again. Mm. You know, when you have another DC failure or another uh, um, a failure on the uh, <coughs> of, 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 a, of a MC, what is it, the MCU, the Marvel oh, Universe? Mm -hmm. so, yeah, yeah I'm, think, not, I'm not optimistic about the Marvels when it comes out. The new what? Uh, Marvel. There's a new Marvel movie coming coming out called The Marvels. Yeah, I'm not as optimistic about that. One. Uh, no, but there's one called Blue Beetle, I think, or something like that. It's coming. Blue Beetle out. is DC. Yeah. What? Blue Beetle is DC. Is DC? They say that the actually is a pretty good film. I'll pass. I know. She did. You know something? She <laughs> got to the point. There was a time when I first married her. I could take her to. You know, I would never go to the DC universe or any of that ever. You went to them. You saw the last Avengers movie with me on television. No, he in the movie theaters. You know, she's gotten really. I I'm going to divorce her. I she isn't the woman. She isn't the woman I signed up for. I don't know about anybody no. else in here, but I hate it when mom and dad fight. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> What was what was the first movie we went to together? Well, there were two of them. One was the one. Um, one was a kung fu movie, right? And the <laughs> yeah. other one was. The and one... you liked that? Yeah. It was and the good. other one was uh, so and so and the captain, the captain so and so. Captain of America, I love that. Yeah. Oh. Uh, and the world of tomorrow, America. and you love that. Yeah. Yes. If, I, if I wanted to take you to that today, if that those two films just came out, you wouldn't go to them. I would. No, you wouldn't. I would. No, you wouldn't. <laughs> <laughs> this is the rest of the hour, folks. No, you wouldn't. <laughs> I have something very important to say. 
Oh, really, Paul? Well, I do. It's breaking news. Marjorie has a has a new haircut, and it's really good. It's really nice. I wanted to see something the whole episode so far. Absolutely. Love those curls. Absolutely. I yes. still haven't adjusted to it. I love it. Really? What's, yeah, actually, What's I think it's great. I think, I think, well, I think it's, it's a I major think cut. It's pro, you know, it's proactive uh, hair thinning is what it is because her hair is starting to really thin but the, the oh lord the, alex what are we going to do with you today yeah. Yeah. Well, wait a second. I'm gonna explain this, is, this is why she looks so good it's because <laughs> he told her the barber let's cut it shorter then you don't have that length on it and it won't be as thin and that's the reason it looks so good is because it's not as thin because as the longer it got the thinner it was okay so you're just jealous because you married a gorgeous woman. That's all. <laughs> He's jealous because I have hair. <laughs> <laughs> I am not jealous because I married a gorgeous woman. Other people are jealous of me because I married a gorgeous woman. <laughs> all right, I'll, I'll, I'll take the end of the sentence. That's good. Good answer. Yeah. I'll take yeah. the compliment. Yeah, because it, it doesn't mean anything to me. I mean, <laughs> I may have married a gorgeous woman, but this is also the woman that is really she's obsessive compulsive <laughs> and everything has and to I be give done. Him the hand, and he doesn't give me a tip everything has to be done <laughs> her way right and and um every morning i can depend on the fact that at noon, exactly at, noon. at exactly 11 30 it's 11 noon. Noon? Noon. is it noon every, yeah. at noon immediately she says let's make the bed Every day, same time. And your point if, is? If we went a half hour later, it would drive her nuts. You know. Mm -hmm. And hello to Mandy, who's busy at work. Yeah, I was trying to defend Marjorie there, but I was ignored. <laughs> <laughs> really? Go ahead, defend okay. Marjorie. Well, her Paula tried to change the subject, and you still just went down. <laughs> Anyway, what were you going to say? Oh, well, I was going to say earlier when you were talking about the Barbie movie, I, I thought it was weird. You went and saw it? Yeah. Yeah, and you thought it was weird. I thought it was weird. It, it wasn't, I thought there, there just there didn't seem to be as much comedy as I thought there would be. Yeah. And just the thing with Ken, there was a whole thing with Ken, not, I mean, right. I love him. He was my favorite part of the movie. But I don't know. It just was weird to me. I just how I did you know. deal, how did you deal with all the pink and white? <laughs> Visually, yes. He, That's hard. He appealed to, yeah, but just the whole I was the whole time. I mean, maybe I'm just too dense. I, I just was like, this is not what I was expecting. And I don't know if anybody's seen it besides Mike's wife, but there was the funny part where they had weird Barbie, and it was, I can't think of the actress's name. She was on. Wait, she, I think it's Kate and Kate McKinnon. McKinnon. Yes, yeah. thank you. Mm -hmm. She was as weird Barbie. So as so, weird Barbie. Yeah, weird Barbie. They, they, Barbie that every girl has that has its hair cut and whatever. Yeah. yeah. And get, every, every girl in the movie is at least when they're in the Barbie land is Barbie. Yeah, but there's. Yeah. You know, she went to go see Weird Barbie, and Weird Barbie is the one that her hair chopped up and has magic all over her face, and you know. <laughs> so I mean, obviously, a lot of that stuff. If you played with Barbie, you know, like you know, it's like all this stuff you had to kind of understand if you played with Barbie. But yeah, it, back then, I just thought it was kind of weird, and I can't was, was the theater the theater packed? Huh? Was the theater packed? Not really. I went to a matinee, but it was still sixteen dollars. It was so. still six. It was a matinee, but it was still sixteen dollars. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I haven't been to movies in a long time. I mean, I was. Can, like, you, can you believe that that we're paying that much to go see a movie now? You know, I mean, you know, is it a normal length film? Well, it's about two hours, right? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, because uh, 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 Oppenheimer didn't make as much money. 
Oppenheimer well, didn't make well, it. Well, it's three much. hours. Well, the reason is it's three hours. Three hours. So they can it's only show minutes. X number of showings a day at three hours, mm -hmm. where you can show so many more, a couple of more showings a day at two hours. You know, so. <laughs> but, but they had, this one I went to, they had Barbie in more than one theater. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. So, yeah. And uh, was Oppenheimer playing at the same theater? I think so. Oh, okay. See, Oppenheimer, what... <laughs> when I saw Oppenheimer, it what the theater was not full, mm -hmm. but my son tried to get tickets to go see yesterday and they couldn't, he couldn't get tickets anywhere. They were all sold well, we out. We have tickets for uh, IMAX here in New York. And tell the middle them, of when August. Is, when is it? Middle of August, the, the we're second, going? The second Tuesday in August. Yeah. Because, I mean, we well, could we get. The seats we wanted. We got we, the seats we wanted. Yeah, because we wanted the seats in the very back. Because mm -hmm. in IMAX, you don't want to be in the front or anywhere close to the front. Yeah. And uh, one, one time I went to the front, I had, the only seat left in the theater was in the front, and it was on the side. <laughs> and I, I just, I never saw the film. I mean, it was too, close. too close. So, in order to get the right seats, we had to wait a month. I mean, I suppose if we want to just go into a theater that's showing it that isn't an IMAX, we could probably. Charlene, did they have an intermission? No. No? No, but you know what? It went fast. It it's went only, fast. It's it's only three the hours. longest thing was watching the stupid advertisements and the um, trailers before it. Really? It was like, it's like 45 minutes were worth of that yeah yeah well tell me this uh um uh, the, the explosion of the bomb oh gosh in the picture he did it he didn't do it digitally that was done what they call practical effects and did it look good yes and that well i won't say anything but it was yeah scary it was, scary it was scary and it was like um you can't think of what i want to say but it was real um intense super intense leading up to it and then after yeah, yeah yeah it was i really enjoyed it i just wish that well uh, that uh, i knew that i had known more i think I, that's something that i should have known that they should have taught us in school or something i want to go see like a, a documentary or something to uh, get more information there is a good documentary um what was it that we saw? I think it was MSNBC did a documentary. A good one, yeah. Mm -hmm. and, uh, yeah, which was very uh, good. Yeah, but the whole uh, Manhattan mm -hmm. Project was an amazing thing, you know. Mm -hmm. and it was amazing how they pulled it off. I mean, they were building that bomb without anybody really, I don't think even the Germans knew we were building it. They knew we were probably trying, and they were racing to get to it before we did. But the war ended before they could finish their bomb. So, um, yeah. but we did. Uh, and got the distinct uh, uh, reputation of being the only country ever to drop an atom bomb on a human That's right. population. That's right. Uh, in fact, two of them. And there was a third one ready to go. There was another fat boy. Mm -hmm ready to go because they didn't think that the japanese were going to give up after two bombs but they hmm. did you know they killed a lot of people this fascinates you right charlie i mean it fascinates yeah you. I've read a lot about it over the years yeah i was very yeah. fascinated by hiroshima and nagasaki yeah and the fact that when they set off the first bomb that test at uh, los a where where was the test uh, technically where was trinity oh. Los Alamos. Well, Los, Los Alamos. Alam Alamos was where they built it. Um, Alamogordo is that? Alamogordo, New Mexico. Oh, okay. Right. Yeah. Okay. When that when when they were ready to try that bomb and make that bomb go off, uh, and they portray this in the picture, but I've known this for years. They said, "Well, they we don't know what's going to happen when we blow this bomb up. We could mm -hmm. set the atmosphere on fire." Mm -hmm. Wow. And um, uh, they did it anyway. I mean, they were relieved when the atmosphere didn't catch on fire. Mm -hmm. But there uh, was there a distinct possibility of that, uh, Charlie? At least by according to the science, it was a possibility, but it was very small. But that was the science they knew at the time. They yeah. didn't know what <laughs> would happen, but they felt they had to try it. And then after Germany gave up. 
they still had to keep going on making the bomb and and groves didn't tell people he knew that the germans had given up on making a bomb but they didn't tell anybody at los alamos because they wanted them to continue building it you know Mm -hmm. So when they built it, they had to drop it somewhere. So let's go go get the Japanese. They're the ones that are still fighting. And we dropped it. Uh, you know, the question is, shouldn't we have dropped that bomb? You know, did it make the war any easier? I mean, supposedly the Japanese were ready to give up anyway, weren't they? Anybody know? It's not the way I was taught. Yeah, yeah what they taught us was that more than a million people could have been killed in further fighting. That's why yeah, we had to well, that's, what I, that's what yeah, I was that's taught why. too. But the other stories have it that they were getting ready to uh, to uh, uh, capitulate, and uh, they wouldn't have had to drop those bombs, but they did, and uh, the rest is history. But I mean, I'm I, I know that Oppenheimer lived with a great amount of guilt. I think that's probably portrayed in the picture. Because yeah. it wouldn't work on the hydrogen bomb. Well, somebody, they went to uh, to, uh, to um, Einstein uh, mm -hmm. at Princeton uh, with the plans for the bomb. And all they said to him was, all we, we don't want to ask you anything else, but we just want to know, will it work? <laughs> and he said, yes. And then years, a couple of years later, somebody asked him, why did you say yes? I mean, because that meant they would go ahead and use the bomb. And he said, I didn't think anybody was stupid enough to build this thing. <laughs> you know, he didn't think of nuclear fission as something that blows stuff up, you know? Holy shit. Yeah. So, I mean, if, if Einstein just said, no, it won't work, that would have been it. We wouldn't have <laughs> a bomb, you know? But you so did you say Paula that you went to see uh, Oppenheimer? No, I haven't yet. I've been debating it. I was wondering from Charlene, did, did you leave depressed? Um, no, not really. Um, uh, not really. I wouldn't say depressed. No. It, how did how did it leave it's you? Hard to explain. I mean, I I was more like intrigued or more like. Um, <laughs> Like I couldn't believe my thing more was that I that I feel like I should have known more about what was going on or what had gone on. And that's why I felt kind of like let down that or some more let down, I guess, of just about the situation. Because you didn't know about it. Let, yeah. Let me, let me ask yeah. you this though, Sean. Yeah. Uh, and this is a rude question, but I, I it, <laughs> how stupid am I? No. <laughs> no, no. Uh, how old are you? <laughs> Oh, I'm 68. I'm 68. 68. At 68, you weren't there when that bomb went off. No. You weren't alive yet when no. that bomb went off. So there was really no reason to for you to know about this history. Mm. What, I still felt like I should that sh no. should be something that I should have known. Mm -hmm. Now let me I don't ask, know why, but I just do. Yeah. yeah. Let me ask Lynn something here, which is very important. Where have you been sitting in the sun? in my backyard <laughs> i mean is, that, your is your Ooh. face hurting it's like red yeah. you know what it is i think it's i don't know if it's my camera or what when i turn on this light it's that you know maybe i don't know uh, you're still awfully red i am yeah. still awfully red i know I, I see it but i don't when i look in the mirror it doesn't look like that so uh, i think it's does it does it hurt does it hurt? no not at all <laughs> <laughs> We take, <laughs> we took we took take some walks and I don't get any color in my face. Well, you know, we, we lay in a in a in a raft in the backyard and drink a cocktail in the afternoon and this is what happens. Somebody somebody wrote on our chat here, Marjorie is the boss. Don't play with Marjorie. No. <laughs> no, I learned that a long time ago. You always I second agree, that. You always agree with your wife, right, guys? Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Happy life, happy life. In spite of the fact that we don't necessarily agree with them. Somebody laughed next door. I don't know who it was. <laughs> <laughs> I think she's just laughing at us. But it's true. You, you really don't, you know. Uh it's it's just not uh it's not worth your time and effort to do that. 
Okay, Vernon Nunn is joining us here. <laughs> hey. uh, let's see. Uh, the end of the movie. Uh, okay. Okay, it, it says at the end of the Barbie movie, she takes off all that pink, dresses in basic black, packs up her car, and heads out to Burning Man. <laughs> is that true? No spoilers. Is that, no, is that true? Is that true, Mandy? Uh, it says here at the end of the movie, she takes off all that pink, dresses in basic black, packs up her car, and heads out to Burning Man. No. Oh, okay. Oh, <laughs> Ray, the hell with you. That'd be a great ending. That would be a great <laughs> ending. Wait a minute. Your mic isn't on. Your mic isn't on. Mandy, your mic isn't on. There you go. Well, it was on. I just I have it propped up on something. Can you hear me? Yeah. 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 Well, 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 it, I'm it, not gonna tell you the ending, but it was I thought it was cheesy. <laughs> just, looking at, just looking at all the pink and white i would say it's she cheesy. didn't she didn't like vernon nunn it's still joining vernon come on okay. where are you vernon click on something vernon anyway uh yeah yeah but the movie i want to see is when my brother my brother and i were talking thursday and he was saying that we were talking about mission impossible and i was like i've always avoided those movies because i think tom cruise is weird even though <laughs> it's very weird, After, just putting it mildly, I, which is a d disappointment in my life. I mean, I loved Tom Cruise when I was younger, and then I just thought he's weird. But when I saw um, Maverick, I went to Maverick, and I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna not think about the Scientology thing and just watch his enjoy movies. It. Enjoy. He it. does a good movie, but I. I asked my brother, I was like, do I have to go see all those? Do I have to go back and watch all those Mission Impossible movies? He said, no, they kind of, they can kind of stand on their own pretty much. So. Yeah. Yeah. I want to see that one like in the big screen, like IMAX screen or whatever. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, but any, have you, it didn't, did you see it, did, um, uh, Mike? Um, no, I, I saw Indiana Jones. You saw Indiana yeah. Jones. Okay. That one too. Yeah. I'd like to see that one too. How That's was that, Mike? Okay, so I know what people are saying, reviews and all that. I really liked it, but I thought it, like, I literally watched Last Crusade, and then I went and watched it, and I thought it lined up beautifully. Mangold did a phenomenal tribute to Steven Spielberg in how he kept the tone the same, I thought. Um, anybody who calls it cheesy, go back and watch any of the other ones, including Raiders. And I mean, it's it's meant to be a cliffhanger show, right? That's yeah. The it's, yeah. a, it's a throwback, and I think a lot of young people don't understand the tribute that Lucas and Spielberg were making to these old, you know, uh, cliffhanger shows from back in the day. So I loved it. I understand why people might not love it. For me personally, I loved it. I mm. like Isn't that it. funny you say that because you say young people? Don't, I saw like Writers of Lost Ark when I was a, a kid or, yeah. you know, young teenager and just thought it was i've watched it like five times oh like it's I a great it. film it's, it, i okay. often said it's one of the most perfect films ever made if, if i had to take a film student and they said show me a movie that will teach me how to make movies i'd say watch raiders of the lost ark it's yep. just perfect uh, there's nothing wrong with that film Nope. And uh, I can watch it over and over again. And we did. We mm -hmm. watched it recently, Marjorie. We watched the whole, we've got all of them. Yeah. yeah. And then. I would do that again, too. I would yeah. watch all of them again. We, watched, we, 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 we started watching, um, um, what do the you call it? The first one. The second one. Temple of uh, Doom. But Temple I, of Doom. I said, let's go, let's go to the third one. Okay. Well, <laughs> you don't like the guy with, is he the one that has the, the guy with the bald head and has the. Is Temple of Doom the one with the tattooed head or something, or was that? I can't that the remember. Yeah, yeah but it, short it, round. It, what, what what keeps happening to? What happened to Vernon? Vernon just keeps going on and off. Yeah. Mm -hmm. He's uh, spinning off into another universe. Yes. Yeah, <laughs> uh, 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 but then we watched Last Crusade, and I really liked that picture. Uh, that was a good picture. And the third one, the fourth one, was you know it was okay. You know it yeah. was it was just okay who was your favorite sidekick like female sidekick <laughs> oh i like the first one i like what yeah i wonder what happened to her like she it's like she just disappeared well no she didn't disappear she wound up in the fourth picture 
Oh, yeah. she did. And then she also wound up in uh, in the latest picture for a few few seconds or something. Oh, she did. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. He was his wife. Yeah. yeah, but I think she was the best woman in those pictures. I, I Al something Allen. Karen Allen. Karen, yeah, Karen Allen. Allen. Karen Allen. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and you know, I mean, I I think that uh, mm -hmm. the problem with the second picture was. Number one, the woman he wound up Spielberg wound up marrying. Yeah, what's whatever, her name? Kate Capshaw. Shaw, whatever. Kate yeah. Capshaw. Right. Yeah. The way they played her mm -hmm. was so bad. You know, she was the I called her. She was the I broke a nail heroine. Yes. Film. Yes. <laughs> you know. Right. Um, uh, <laughs> you know. So I mean, uh, she. It was like I broke a nail. I broke another. She nail. was annoying. My she was hair, so you know. And I'm going, you know, it, it, I wouldn't even show that today because the Me Too people would go crazy, mm -hmm. you know. So I, I, I find it ridiculous. Okay, uh, but but the third one I liked, and the fourth one was okay. So. But I'm looking forward to seeing Indiana Jones, but because it does such, did such bad business, I imagine it'll be on any week now. On what? What Disney was the Plus. one with, with? What was the one with his father? Which one that was, was that? Crusade? That was Last Crusade. Yeah, that was Last Crusade. That yeah. was great. Junior, yeah, Sean Connery. Yeah. yeah. We named the dog Indiana. <laughs> <laughs> but I mean. Um, it, it, it was, I, I'm I'm looking forward to seeing it anyway. But as I say, it's doing business that is just not that great. So it's probably right now all it's already nobody everybody's forgotten it's in the theaters. So it will wind up. I imagine they'll try having you buy it for a while. Uh, in, in which case, I can lay my hands on it. Well, at the theater this weekend, there was this massive you know display for it like right when you got to the top of the escalator because we went to the theater for indiana in the jones yeah and it yeah. said you know the indiana jones and it said in imax and i was like but i even told my friend that i went to bar i said let's go see that and she was like no we're here to see barbie and i'm like okay okay <laughs> yeah uh, yeah uh i i it, it seems to me like what have, what have you got there what is that that's my wife and her best friend right as they were going to see barbie Oh, okay. <laughs> All right. There's more pink and white there, Marjorie. Uh -oh. <laughs> <laughs> Not for me. Uh, uh, <laughs> I'll pass. But anyway, so I, I did you see any movies this weekend, Vernon? Not this week, no. Oh, okay. All right. Have you seen I did it? see the Indiana Jones though, and I really liked it. You really did like it. Yeah. I I almost think it's a picture for older people. Yeah. <laughs> Because, That's all of us. Well, because he it's about him getting old, you know, and dealing with uh, age and, and those things, you know. Well, being a being a technology nerd, I like the way they were able to uh, put those scenes in there when he was younger. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, well, you know. Yeah, the it, opening is quite astounding. The opening to the new one. They uh, did that with Michael Batman. Douglas and Ant-Man. Mm -hmm. Oh, they, they did? They de-aged him, yeah. And yeah. Michelle Pfeiffer, too. Yeah, so they've been doing that for a while, and this is the first time that a major, major character was done on. Uh, you know, and they're all talking about, oh, gee, we're afraid of AI. You can't use AI. You can't. But yet, what are all these? What was that? It's AI. You mm -hmm. know, de-aging people like that is is a, using a form of artificial intelligence. Yeah, so, but they're not talking about movies. They're talking about other stuff. Yeah. Um, we, we get in around the local time. What are you writing, Brian? If you oh, I'm writing a personal sorry, note. A, personal yeah, note to Mike. Conversation going. To Michael, we're getting it. Everybody we're can seeing, see it. We're seeing yeah, your personal seeing notes. Oh, well, that's okay. That's all right. I don't care. <laughs> it's like grade eight science class. <laughs> 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 Mike and I are meet Mike and I are meeting for a beer in Vancouver. Anybody else want to join us? <laughs> what, what, okay. what are you doing? I got you I got you in touch with him so that you can go visit him. Vancouver. When are you yeah. when are you going, Vernon? August 14th. We're flying up to Vancouver. 
I'm doing the same, but on uh, September 23rd. Hey, you're, you're flying up to Vancouver, what, to catch a boat? Yes, sir. Yeah. <laughs> See, we, we're, yeah. th we're thinking about doing that one, too, eventually, is to get on the boat. It's a larger boat than <laughs> usual, right? But Well, this, this one is uh, 3,000 passengers. <laughs> that's about the size I went on. Well, that's small. Oh that yeah. Yeah, the Alaskan ones are smaller than the, 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 the Alaskan ones, however, are still big cruise ships. However, that's uh, what this is. This is yeah, the none system. of those, none of the smaller ones. Like I just found a thing if in the uh, uh, to go out. It leaves Portugal and it goes to Ibiza, Spain, yeah. and it goes down a to river, Morocco. A river boat. That's and a river it's, boat. it's a clipper ship. It's got sails on it, Ooh. You know, which would uh, that I would really like. That's nice. We did, we did that. We did that in the U.S. Virgin Islands. We went on a a, uh, a ship that had six passengers, and the captain and first mate were both female. And good looking. Cool. <laughs> I'm sold. Yeah, but I'm bringing my wife, so it doesn't matter. Yeah. <laughs> but do you ever get bothered when I see a, a good looking woman walking down the street and I look at her, Marjorie? What? Does that ever bother uh, you? Huh? You can look as much as you want, Alan. <laughs> and you right. didn't leave me a tip for your haircut. <laughs> You do the haircut out of love, Marge. No, I do it out of pressure. Pressure yes. from who? From you. No, you keep yes. saying to me, your hair's getting long. Your hair's getting long. We got to cut it. I didn't say we got to cut it. I just say it's getting longer. It grows fast. Being married is such a delight. <laughs> it really is. Such a delight. I agree. But anyway. Uh, read between the lines, right? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, but she she does want to go on a big boat, and I agree with her. I don't like the idea of those cruises with three thousand people, but there's some that you just have to do that in order to take the trip, which is supposed to be extraordinary. That Alaska. I don't think they do any Alaska cruises on anything smaller than with the one we're going on. Mm, yeah, yeah. With all the penguin smell. No penguins. They don't That's have South penguins East. in Alaska. <laughs> That's the Antarctic trip. Oh, Antarctic. Yeah. Yeah, that's what Shecky used to say. Shecky spent <laughs> Shecky spent thirty thousand dollars to go to the Antarctic. Okay. Jesus, and Just so he can smell penguins. All, all he came back with was, "You don't know how bad <laughs> penguin shit smells." <laughs> you know, it's like desiccated sardines. Okay, <laughs> it's like, and and not just one penguin, but thousands of them. <laughs> Okay. And definitely we're probably the only the couple. We're probably the only couple that had sailed on a ship that was converted. It was the USS Norway from Norwegian Cruise Lines, and we sailed yeah. on it when it was 900 passengers. And when we got off the ship, they sent it over to a shipyard, and they cut it in half, and they added more cabins. Mm -hmm. And we sailed on it again after they had converted it the to 2,500 cast. Oh uh, wow! 2,500 uh, customers. Wow, that's cool. I just don't want to go on those big ones. I don't. I don't want to be on a cruise where the biggest thing that happens is they're doing their version of Oklahoma. <laughs> you know? I mean, I just. Well, Carlos oh. and his girlfriend, our friend Carlos and his girlfriend. They they love the big thing. They love the dancing. Yeah. They love karaoke. They love all that bullshit. And, and we don't want that. We just no. want to see the view. We want to stop at the ports and look at stuff. You know. Uh, you don't want a casino on your ship, Alex. I don't want a casino on the ship. I don't want. I don't want anything resembling a water slide. <laughs> oh no! Take all the fun away. On one, I think we saw they had a roller coaster. Okay. Imagine a helicopter. Why? Yeah. I want to know something that resembles a water slide that isn't a water slide. Like, what else would it be? Why well, put it on a boat? Uh, on on Royal Caribbean, on Royal Caribbean, they have one where you can use boogie boards and you can ride the waves on. Yeah. The oh, wonderful! Oh, they have bumper cars. They have ice skating. Ice skating, yeah. What? See, I'm on a ship because I want to be on the water. <laughs> 
cruising along, maybe sitting out on a deck that maybe I have to my cabin. A balcony. Yeah. A balcony. And nice. seeing all the scenery as it goes by and having a relaxing voyage. I don't need all that crap. You know? <laughs> and they just try to, they go, it's like, the trip isn't interesting enough for you. We've got to give you a roller coaster. <laughs> and, yeah. and our friend, our friend Carlos and his girlfriend loved it. I mean, they couldn't get enough of it, you know. Well, then stay away from Carnival if you don't want the roller coaster. Mm -hmm. and the and all the that roller yeah, that's for sure. No, but we, 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 we've, we've looked at a lot of the river cruises. River cruises have smaller boats. They're yeah. very small. Yeah, uh, they're, they're kind of flatter boats and so on and so mm -hmm. forth. It's only a few hundred. If you, if you well, sail well, on the Mississippi Queen, you can stop in Louisville and come see me. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. What were you saying, Len? No, I was just saying the smaller ships, you can get there two or three hundred people, you know, because they, they got to fit up the river. So they're yeah. very small. Yeah, yeah. That, that to me sounds like very nice, you know, and, and uh, you know, I, I don't mind if they have a nice interior and, you know, but... But you look at those uh, sh ships that carry like three, four, five thousand people. They're up, they're it up is fifteen thousand. What are you talking oh, about? What are you fifteen thousand? Really? I have giant ships. Yeah. The new oh my one. God. I think this one I've been on was six thousand five hundred passengers, oh, and so you couldn't even tell you were on a ship. My uh, my question yeah, is why they even have to leave port. <laughs> you know, I mean, just stay there and have your roller coaster and your Oklahoma and your, you know, and and yeah, you can still I, go see the ruins. I saw I one. Buy ruins. Well, I saw one on YouTube that has like they claim we have fifteen different restaurants. Yeah. What? Oh my god! <laughs> Whatever. Well, it's only a seven day cruise. That it's hard to hit them all if you're only on a seven day cruise. Exactly. Yeah. Okay, my my friend had me talked into going on a cruise. Now I am seriously reconsidering. Oh, oh, so don't do that! No, no, no. Don't they're do so that! Fun. Yeah. They're so fun. Where's I your... highly recommend the karaoke. Well, where's your cruise go? Karaoke was great. <laughs> <laughs> well, first of all, I would. It's not going to be carnival, so maybe you won't get all that crap. And you I would get all that crap, Mandy. You will. I would prefer to actually go on a virgin one because I think there's no kids on that one. No offense to anybody. But no, that's a wonderful thing. It would definitely be at least a Royal Caribbean. Yeah, yeah those are great. I've been awesome. on both. I've been on both. Yeah. And I'll but tell you, I'll you, tell you, this you have many, a, it, it, the, the last night of the Royal Caribbean cruise, uh, if you go see the big show in the lounge and all that, when they're saying oh goodbye to everybody. God. When they so, go say goodbye to everybody, oh. one of the things that they talk about is they're like, oh, and by the way, did you know that there were 900 kids on this boat? Mm -hmm. And everyone's like, what? And nobody ever saw them. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> that's, they, 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 they that's, because, that's because they all were thrown overboard and drowned. <laughs> yeah, no, this, <laughs> yeah, separate group. Yep. Separate activities. Well, have you separate made your plans yet, Mandy? Or? No, I have not, but I'm... Going to, like I said, I was going to, but now you are talking about so Caribbean is that so fun. Oil Caribbean is that cool. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Man, the like it was one of those ads Charlene was talking about before the movie. Now instead of just previews, now they do commercials, and it was this mm -hmm. one they did. It was Jennifer Lopez. Did you happen to see that one, Charlene, in your movie? Oh. It was Jennifer Lopez in a Virgin uh, cruise line and. Mm -hmm. He was talking, and then it turns out somebody was just talking. Oh, Jennifer! Like, yeah, yeah. But that was that, weird. They said, <laughs> weird. They said that's when they pointed out that a Virgin cruise, there's no kids. I was like, hmm, okay. <laughs> hmm. Let me see here. Uh, yeah. Uh, I, the uh, let me explain something here. Please that, do. It, 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 we're at a point in our life we would have never taken a cruise before yeah uh -huh. my idea of a vacation is you get to paris you rent a car and then you drive around i used to drive down the coast and go down to the french riviera and then over into italy you know and get some pasta and all that well i'm i don't feel i'm able to drive that much only because i i'm afraid that i don't I'm, i maybe don't have the coordination to drive i don't know i may drive fine i just haven't driven in so long so we've gotten to the point in our lives where we're saying, 
Well, let's take a cruise. Now, Marjorie, back me up on this. We would have never, up until now, thought about a cruise, right? Well, I still would never think about one of those big cruises. A river cruise, yeah. Well, the big cruise, sometimes you can't avoid it. Going up to Alaska, which is supposedly, you've heard it too. Have you gone on it before, Vernon, or is this your first time? Yeah, no, we went We went on the, uh, the Discovery last September, and it was a brand new ship. They had just commissioned it in March of last year, and it's uh, 3,000 passengers. But it's beautiful. It's a beautiful ship, and we never saw any kids. And it but was 3,000 people. No, but you, yeah, but, you, you, but the way they've got the ship, the, the way they've got the ship laid out, Marjorie, you don't even you don't even recognize that there's that many passengers. We take, we take yeah, a walk yeah. on a Sunday. We pass we we pass three thousand people. You know? Yeah, you live in New yeah. York City. <laughs> but Alex, when you said that about going to Europe, see, I my sister wants to go to Europe next year, and I want to do a cruise in Europe. <laughs> You know I mean? Do a river cruise. Do a river cruise, Mandy. Because I've been told, like, that's the most, like, if you're going to do some Europe traveling, do a cruise because you'll get to see a lot more. Do a river that's, cruise. With well, you, I, do, I used to, I used to just love to always rent a car, which are too, very expensive these days. I hear, mm-hmm. but rent a car, and then I would just drive, drive down the down through <clears throat> France, down to the uh, coast, uh, down to Marseille, and along the French Riviera, and then over into Italy. And but Alex, uh, maybe those I'd, things uh, are I, over. I, those I, things I'd are over. Leave the car off and when go. When was the last the, time you drove a car? Go to Ibiza. <laughs> yeah. I haven't driven a car in about four years, and I'm worried I don't know how to drive it anymore. Plus, most of the time, I think it's a drug I'm taking. I'm lightheaded, and I'm just worried that I might not have the coordination to drive. Now, I'm probably wrong. I could probably do it, but it would be more work than I want to do on a vacation, okay? So uh, the idea of a cruise suddenly sounds like a good idea. I used to always put uh, uh, Shecky down about his cruises. I went, why do you do those cruises? Why do you want to go on them? He says, ah, I just get in my room. I get one with a, with a balcony. I sit out there, and I, he, he drank all day. Okay, Yay. all right, that's what That's happened. the best part. <laughs> yeah. yeah, but, I mean, for Shecky, that's what kills him. Yeah. You know? Uh, and I think that's what he loved best about the cruises is he could drink without uh, anybody as much as he wanted. On his- yeah, you don't have to worry about driving drunk. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Mm-hmm. exactly. So, you know, uh, it, 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 it cruise becomes a good idea, but now Marjorie says, no 3,000. Well, oh, like, yeah, some- maybe for the the Arctic, maybe, but there not. Are, for, there are yeah. some cruise lines that take great pride in being a cruise line for adults. Okay. And they don't really have kids there and they don't have anything there that kids would be interested in. And well, if you're into people, old movies, you can take a TCM cruise that's on a Disney ship out of Fort Lauderdale. I don't want to take Admiral. a TCM cruise. <laughs> God, you got to be on the boat with their hosts. Come on. Hey. Have you heard about the movies all day? Uh, 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 Mandy? I'm sorry. Have you heard of the 80s cruises? They they advertise them on 80s on 8 on Sirius. They have like the all the 80s bands like Pat Benatar or <laughs> like Boy or you know bands like that and like the old MTV yeah, jockey. I, uh, please shoot me before I go on that. <laughs> oh, shout out that was great. Come on. I I am in. That sounds great and I'm sure the karaoke there would be off the hook. <laughs> uh i uh i just want to take a cruise that says hey have a nice time here's your cabin you want to come up on the deck and hang out that's nice and just take it easy alex yeah. you're a you're a frank sinatra fan right yeah i went on a cruise one time where they had a karaoke night and this guy got up and sang new york new york and sounded just like frank sinatra it was amazing oh boy <laughs> I think Frank Sinatra on a cruise once. Yeah, I won ten. I, I won ten grand in the casino on the very last night. Wow. Ten grand U.S. So it was actually eleven, eleven five U.S. I was so happy. I immediately went up to the art gallery and bought a painting that I had been looking at all week. And then wow. I went right to the karaoke lounge and had a 
big bottle of champagne and I sang When I Was 17 by Frank Sinatra and I did <laughs> swigs in between each verse. <laughs> Lovely. Can I ask? Can Mike, I ask? Was that on a cruise? Was that it was on a cruise ship. ship. That was a cruise oh, ship. Can I ask a stupid question? Sure. What is the magic of uh, karaoke, or as it really should be pronounced, is karaoke? Uh, kar oh, yeah. Uh, Watching people make fools of themselves. It's yeah. fun. Well, you want to do that, just, you know, call me. <laughs> just get up. Yeah. Um, it's, it's okay. The way that I've described karaoke, if you love to sing and whatnot, it's an outlet yeah. for you. If yeah. for people who watch it, however, it's like watching American Idol in its first two or three episodes of a new season. You see yeah. some great stuff and you see some train wrecks mm. and you're drinking and it's fun. Yeah, I agree. But that's not why. That's not why I go on a cruise. I go on a cruise for the adventure of it all, and seeing places, and seeing things, and relaxing. That's the best part. The relax. Get yourself a balcony. But room now I got to worry about karaoke night, and we're doing Oklahoma. You don't need to go to lounges, optional. man. Those are like optional. nightclubs on the you boat. Do what you you want to do? Yeah. Only Stay on the optional. deck, man. <laughs> Isn't there just like a a club where you can go and vegetate, you know. Oh yeah, they have a piano bar. Uh, on uh, most of Jeff, yeah. Jeff, Jeff looks like he's taking a few cruises in his time. No, I think this is going to be my first cruise. And but what it is, it's up a river. You go through <laughs> Portugal, yeah, into Spain, into Spain, yeah. and yeah. and it's adults and not that many people, and you stop quite often because they have to move the boats up because mm -hmm. oh, of the wow. environment there. Going through the docks or the locks. Uh, yeah. And at that time you get off and you walk around. One you... cruise I was looking at leaves, Look at uh, leaves can. It's a 14 day cruise. Mm -hmm. and it goes all the way down into Morocco and so on. Mm -hmm. and that looked good to me. You know, oh, that, that looks wonderful. You know, and it was something like, I don't know, nine grand a person or something mm -hmm. you know all the rooms have balconies on those ships too which is nice yeah yeah which uh you know we're <clears throat> we're going to be able to afford soon but hopefully yeah, yeah. Hopefully. <laughs> well yeah you know, I, mean, I know your rent is oppressive <laughs> <laughs> We're out there in the place you know, but it still always it still always costs us money. Like there's this thing where they have to register every year with the what they call the DHCR, the Housing Commission or whatever, as, as to what the rent is here. And they listed the rent as 25, 25, 20, 20, 22, 25. Mm. And uh, so I had to get my lawyer to okay. go in now and get it changed. Guess how much of that will cost? Right. Yeah. Just to do that little thing. Yeah. Five hundred dollars. Oh. I wish. That's my. That's one hour for my lawyer. Yeah. You know. So I mean, and and I'm sure they'll do other stuff to screw us over too. Oh yeah, absolutely. You know, or to try and make life miserable. Well, they've done that. And and you got to have your lawyer <laughs> do something about it. You know. Yeah. When you're talking about rental cars, Alex, we've already looked into it. Our son has set a date for his wedding of June 8th next year. And mm -hmm. just to rent a minivan to drive up there was $900 for a week. Wow. wow. No, we soon we'll be able to afford all that. But right now we, we still are watching our pennies. So, yeah. Uh, it is what it is. It is what it is. Yeah. Um, but you know, but but Shecky used to take cruises all the time, and I used to give him a bad time about it. And now here I am thinking about cruises. <laughs> you know, so yeah, there are, some, there are some you would probably enjoy, not necessarily river cruises, but you know, they have some Caribbean ones that I think you would really enjoy. You and Marjorie would both enjoy. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, you know, Marjorie, with the with money we're gonna have available to us, we could take one of those. 3,000 trips, uh, and it's only a week, and see if we can live with it. You know, we might get on the boat and go, you don't feel like there are 3,000 people here. They have three and yeah. four-day ones, too, that you could, you know, try it out as well, so. Yeah, yeah, mm -hmm. but I mean, just to try it for grins, for the hell of it, you know. 
What, yeah, do, you have some, what do you mean no? Come on. They have some three <laughs> night, four day. They have some three night, four day. Three nights, four, four days we will do. We'll see how you live with the 3,000 people. And if you like it, fine. Definitely. I'm not doing starting with a seven or 10 day or some crazy. I'm going on like a three night. Four yeah. Day, you know. Yeah. That was the first one we did. First one, first yeah. cruise we did was three nights. Yeah. And how much they charge you for that? Do you remember? Oh God, that was so long ago. I don't remember. <laughs> in, in, interior like three hundred dollars. Yeah, three hundred dollars. Yeah. How much? Like three hundred dollars. Three day cruise. Yeah, it's like three hundred dollars. It's like a hundred dollars a day. Really? I didn't. I thought they were more expensive. Well, if you want, if you want a balcony, whatever. If you want a balcony, you pay more. Like this fourteen day cruise I saw is like about. Eight thousand dollars a person, mm -hmm. but it's fourteen I, days, and it's on a clipper ship. Oh, that would be wonderful. Yeah, I agree. That would be just wonderful, you know. But um, listen to us, folks. We're a bunch of old folks talking about uh, about cruises. Welcome. Paula, have you ever taken a cruise? Who? Paula. Oh yeah, actually, I was just. Uh, Back in my memories, um, a long, long time ago, there was a cruise line called the Italian uh, Cruise Line, and there were three boats, uh, the, the Leonardo, the Michelangelo, and the Raffaello. We went on. Oh, they were named after the mutant ninja turtles. Yes. And they were, they were all the, the crew, right. And the crew, was, the crew was all Italian, and it left out of New York and sail, in the winter and sailed to the Caribbean, to Puerto Rico, and... Uh, to San Juan and uh, St. Thomas. Okay. And it was the first time I had ever seen the Caribbean as well. And it was absolutely glorious. And the food was unbelievable. And I saw all I have from how many people were on it? Do you know, remember, remember? I have no idea. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, um, I do know that that um, it didn't seem crowded. And it was it was wonderful. It was absolutely wonderful. So um, I've heard a lot of good things about um, Viking cruises mm -hmm. uh, on the Danube. I've heard a lot of good things about about um, uh, cruising the Greek islands, which you know, like if you get the it's opportunity, on fire to right do now, it. huh? Is on fire right now. Yeah, that's true. That's true. So my mm -hmm. memories are, are very good, but it was what only part, what it was a part of what part of the planet now isn't on fire yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. by the way there's a show we're watching which it didn't get that great reviews on rotten tomatoes but we we're enjoying it it's it's called extrapolations it's on apple plus mm -hmm. and it's about the world in crisis mm -hmm. with its environment but, but each segment is a different year like it could be 2050 and it, it it's a segment that's like about you see it advance through every episode. What's happening there? <laughs> Each one is a standalone. Stand alone. The first episode they talk about forest fires and smoke and the skies but, being being red in various cities and so on. And this was done before we had our current problems. It was shot, you know, before we had our, our red sky here in New York. But you know that that's going to become a common occurrence by the time we get to tw what twenty thirty six I think is the first time on this thing, and it's really very good. The second episode is about this woman trying to save the last humpback. But what happens is each episode is a different year going forward, yeah. and it's just what's happening in that year with whatever plot. Yeah, it, it's they're all standalones, really. Yeah. And um, it, it's a, it's a very interesting show. It's a fascinating show, but I mean, Gary. it's it's all within. It's not like it's science fiction because it's all within the realm of possibility. It's happening, you know. And that if we, if, we, if we don't do something about it, it's going to be that way. I mean, Marjorie and I are going to be here. A lot of you guys won't be here by the time it really gets bad. But nevertheless, you know, I mean, it's our job now to stop it for future generations. So, Meanwhile, Ron, what? Meanwhile, Ron DeSantis wants to gripe about what we're teaching our kids in school. Oh, uh, horrible. Horrible. You know, you know they're saying, uh, we're going to go over a little bit here, but in California, they're griping about the new math curriculum there. They say it's woke. It's woke? <laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> How can a math curriculum be woke? Yeah. Uh, it is. It is. What? Do they not it understand the definition of woke? Look it yeah, up. What on is Google. woke? What is woke? What is woke? I don't know what woke is. I've, I, I, you know, if you ask most of these, that you may, woke means that you are aware of racial prejudice and um, injustice. And, injustice. And, and that is bad. Why? Because it makes it makes white people feel bad. That's because why. the Republicans <laughs> want to get those votes to those twenty five percent. That's, that's a lot you. more accurate. Reporters. I got news for you: white people should feel bad. <laughs> you know, what, some kind of un American or something. Don't want <laughs> to the latest Ron DeSantis. The, the curriculum down in Florida now is that slavery taught people skills that they can yeah, get like later in yeah, life. Right, sure. right. Yeah, right. free trip to America. Yeah. <laughs> Talk about a cruise they, they ship, right? America, and they learned how to pick cotton. That's, okay. that's, and that's, uh, that's a trade, right? And make iron. Didn't uh, didn't Eli food. Whitney invent the cotton gin? And yeah. Didn't that put them out of work? <laughs> <laughs> you know, that's it's 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 horrible what's happening. But let this this show is kind of an island away from all of that. I hope. Yeah. I mean, really. I mean, you turn on the news. Marjorie is an MSNBC advocate, and she just watches that every day and over and over again. Every uh, They're making the same mistake they made in 2016. All they're talking about is Trump, okay? Yep. Giving him all the free publicity he needs. Yeah. It, it was so nice for the first year or two there after he got voted out that we didn't hear him very much. And now he's back again in full force. Well, I remember if you said Beetlejuice's name three times, <laughs> he would show up, right? Right. And I, I just think if you don't talk about Trump, you only talk about him when it's really important, okay? He will go away because he thrives. He's like, a, he thrives off of that publicity, he you does. know? So, you know. Well, anyway, Marjorie Miller, thank you. What are we having for dinner tonight? Oh, yeah, it's spaghetti again. Okay. <laughs> it's easy enough, right? Hey, Alex, I went to the House of Prime Rib on Saturday. You've ever been there? Oh, yeah, in San Francisco? <laughs> yeah. That's oh, boy, was, was that good. <laughs> that, is it still a good prime rib? It's unbelievably good, yeah. And is, how expensive is it now? It was $56 now. Uh, yeah, it's not terrible. Yeah, I used to be twenty five dollars. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So House of Prime Rib on Van Ness, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 Uh, were there any? Uh, somebody said that all the tents are gone on Van Ness Avenue. I didn't see a homeless person in the whole flipping city. I, I just, you know. Yeah, that's people. what that's what a lot of people are saying that it's yeah. cleaning up. Yeah, yeah. Where are they going? Uh, I don't, New York, I think. They're coming here. Yeah. Uh, Charlene, so good to hear from you again and hear your review of Oppenheimer. Uh, also, thanks to Charlie Wallace, as always. What does your T-shirt say today? My favorite childhood memory is my back not hurting. There you go. <laughs> Amen. That's a good one. <laughs> Uh, thank you so much, Jeff. Always a pleasure having you here. Uh, Len LaFrisco, love having you here. I'm glad that sunburn doesn't hurt. Uh, <laughs> uh, Happy birthday, Len. Oh, thank, yeah. you. thank you. Is it Len's Happy birthday? birthday Len. yes. It was yesterday. 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 How yeah. old are you, Len? 63. 63. You, you young punk kid. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, One more years, yeah. he can sign up for Medicare. Anyway, Mike, <laughs> yeah, I can't wait. Mike Chisholm, a big thank you. Your set gets bigger and bigger every day. You keep adding to it. More yeah. stuff coming too. Yeah, and uh, uh, hey, you know Paula, you're the best. We love you, sweetheart. Uh, and uh, thanks to Mandy uh, for joining us again today. As she does while she's working and does this at the same time. She's, uh, you know, asking. She's a go good at multitasking. Uh, and finally, uh, Vernon Nunn, thank you so much for being here. Always a pleasure. And now I won't forget him. 
Here's Edward Berger to sign us off by saying, "That's all, folks." <laughs> Bye, everybody. See you next week. Bye. Thanks.